You're still trying to get that free sub? Hey, I have spent a lot of time and I have eaten a lot of crap to get to where I am today. And I am not throwing it all away now. Is there a captain's hat involved in this? Maybe. <laughs> We're back with a classic Seinfeld moment. Elaine going above and beyond to get that free sub. Eat a lot of crap. Oh, yeah. uh, like Elaine, a lot of folks enjoy taking advantage of those, those wildly popular rewards programs. Fair warning, folks. Popular chains like Chipotle, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, they're making some changes that are brewing up some yeah. bad feelings. NBC Sam Brock has a closer look in new ways you can maximize your savings. Hey, Sam. Hey, Chanel Craig, good morning. More proof, by the way, that Seinfeld is, in fact, relatable to everything. Now, as far as these rewards programs, there have been a lot of changes in recent months, with many companies offering consumers a trade-off of sorts. Dunkin', for example, you now have to spend $50, not $40, to get a coffee like this, but you can use those same points for delicious donuts or other food items like hash browns as well. As it concerns Starbucks, they just changed their program, guys, a matter of weeks ago, meaning consumers now need to start digging into details and crunching numbers. Americans' caffeine addiction and the thrill of a free drink has made loyalty programs for Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts fan favorites. Even as the entry level for earning a basic coffee has crept up a bit. In October, Dunkin' Donuts raised the points needed for a free regular coffee from 40 to 50 bucks spent, while premium sips like lattes jump from $40 to 90. Honestly, I feel like if I spend $50 with you, then if you're going to do something in return and show, you know, your appreciation, I feel like 50 is worth it. 100 is kind of pushing it. That's still less than a brewed hot Starbucks coffee, which just went from 50 stars to 100. That's basically $100 for a free cup of coffee. Wow. Does that surprise you? It doesn't surprise me, just the way that inflation is happening in America. Starbucks points out their iced coffee and tea are actually fewer stars now, adding in a statement to NBC News, we occasionally need to make changes to ensure the long-term sustainability of the Starbucks rewards program and to meet the changing needs of our members. Dunkin's president, likewise, says reshaping its rewards program has allowed them to keep consumer sentiment strong. They've added more than 3 million members and deliver what customers ask for, the ability to redeem points for more than just beverages. You actually have more options now. You can get donuts, you can get munchkins, you can get sandwiches. Still, consumer experts say these tweaks can go a long way for the corporate bottom line. To you, these points might only be worth a couple dollars, but in aggregate across all their customers, uh, they can be worth millions and millions of dollars. For years, airlines have been trimming the purchase power of miles. And now even some department stores are using clever tricks, offering points that can only be redeemed when the shopper returns to the store another day and not during the same sale. Here's a few things that can help you maximize your rewards. For flights and hotels, comparison shop first because the better deals often save you more money than using points. Check the terms. In some programs, points expire after six months. And do the math. Don't go out of your way to spend $250 to earn 250 points that in reality are worth $2.50. It's not a necessity. It's one thing if, if the staples were just exceedingly soaring in price, but these are perks. Sam, with these deals getting tighter, does that mean fewer people are expected to sign up for them? Yeah, Chanel, actually, the opposite is kind of what's happening. Chipotle is a great example of that. That company raised the threshold for a free entree from $125 to $140 to $162.50 last fall. And according to the company's CEO, they actually saw an increase in reward memberships by 20%. Chili's is another example where they started to get rid of their free giveaways, and yet revenues continue to rise. So, Chanel, really, there's a psychology to all of this, which is we like to be part of something that shows our loyalty. It's a club and we're getting extra value, even if that value is a little bit less than what it used to be. It's right. Full circle. Yeah. Right back to that yeah. Seinfeld yeah. clip. Yeah. People that, like it. That's psychology. Thank it's you, crazy. Sam. It's a sad thing. Yeah. But everyone likes to feel like they're getting a deal. It's true. I guess so. It's yeah. True. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.